Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking and sharing the video. And of course, let's get started. Let's see what's going on with those twins. Uh, today I'm actually wearing part of my uh, Halloween costume. Uh, and yes, for those of you who know I dance, there's definitely gonna be a dance number. And yes, let's get started before this thing <laughs> tears my, my ear off because it's pretty painful, but I love it. It looks absolutely marvelous. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, also, I've started doing the card of the day videos, so make sure to check those out. It's gonna be a short, but it's gonna be coming out every day if you need. If you don't have time to read, to uh, watch one video or it's just a separate kind of like, okay, hit me up, you know, no twin flame stuff, but just like, give me something. Uh, that's definitely for you. Okay, so I've got the Wisdom of the Oracle for the main deck. This is going to be a classic creed, so same standard format. Um, let's see what we have for Divine Feminines today. Only six days to go to another eclipse. This is going to be Lunar Eclipse in Taurus. My son is in Taurus, so I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Ooh, fingers crossed that it's going to be opening up new doors. <laughs> All right, so for the feminines, we have by the book number 11. And let's see what the bottom of the deck is and never ending story. Oof. So I'm getting that uh, sometimes to put an end to some karmic situation is exactly to go by the book. And sometimes I'm hearing for some of you, it's to go by the book of the other person in the situation. So, you know, like, um, Sometimes you're like, you really want to stand up for your side and you're like, okay, I know better or this, like I'm in the right here, you're in the wrong. But if you want the story to end, if you want the cycle to end, sometimes uh, you need at least to listen to the other side, right? To what the other person is saying, to what their by the book is like, right? Because maybe you both feel like you're going by the book in this situation, right? So yeah, it can be going in circles until you do something different and you find either that common denominator uh, that maybe, maybe you were talking about the same things just in different words and you never actually got to the point to understand that perspective of the other person, right? Or maybe if you do have difference of opinion, at least to arrive at some sort of compromise, some sort of truth or some sort of closure that is like, okay, you know what? We're not gonna agree about this. So let's agree to disagree, right? Or if you feel like it's the time to part ways, then do that, right? Like it's in your hands to uh, to close out that never-ending story. A full moon that is coming up, which is gonna be the day of the eclipse, is actually a pretty great time for it. And I would say, don't wait till Saturday, do it now. Like, look at it, what needs closure, close it. And if you're thinking, well, that person isn't even talking to me, so how can I close that, right? Um, yeah, at least you can you can have closure, even if you have no access to the person. But you still should have that perspective in mind, right? So at least respect that there is some other perspective that you may not necessarily understand, right? That will definitely help you find closure sooner. So for masculines, we have the card that's called Community, one of my favorites with the giraffes, and Peace. Look at that. Also find, looking for peace. This is brilliant. I love it. Right. So the sense of community, the sense of some, you know, nurturing energy around can be family and friends, can be bigger community, can be like a group of interest. Uh, whoever, whatever that group is for you these days, masculines, call onto their group and you will feel much more peaceful. Uh, in the good book, we're saying and we're learning that we're supposed to be able to find that peaceful, grounded place ourselves. Uh, but, you know, there are times when it's really hard to do and we need to kind of lean on somebody else until we're able to carry on by ourselves, right? So if you're finding yourself in those times, do not be shy, do not feel ashamed or just um, like an imposter that you're leaning on to those other people, whoever that community is for you, right? Uh, if you don't have specific people in mind, there are obviously professionals 
that can be there. You can um, ask for their help. Mentors, coaches, therapists, uh, they're all there for you. You know, there, there are always multiple options uh, if you look for them. That's what exactly these cards are asking you to do because being in that getting yourself into that state of peace is the beginning of the healing journey it's the baseline to personal goals you can't really do personal goals if you're in crisis right you need to get yourself out of it into the land of peace and then you can build on it right you don't want to build on on the cows imagine that you're trying to build a house during a tornado or an earthquake how's that gonna go Okay, Whew. that one a bit emotional, but that was a channeled message for someone out there. Let's see what we have for the reading of the day. I picked up the Steampunk Tarot. Love this deck so much. Let's see. We have our energies, we have extra question, and we have how the planes feeling for each other today. Bottom of the deck, six of cups. That's a good start. I like it. That's what you like to see for relationships. Six of cups, recognition. This is actually that kind of uh, peace, play, play, place of peace, place of, place of truth. You know, like even if uh, truth, I mean, <laughs> uh, where it's like, let's agree to disagree, right? Like we may have different views with different perspectives, right? It doesn't mean necessarily that only one of them is right. Uh, but the important part is, or the important question is, where do we want to go from here? That's always the most important part. Do you want to expand? Do you want to continue together on the path? Or it's a kind of like saying goodbye, but you're trying to get to let off steam before you say goodbye. Very different situations. Okay, let's get clarifiers. It's the witch's terror today. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, plan for the future. Don't live in the past. Don't try to hang on to those arguments, to those hurt places. Oof. Um, for the feminines, we have Six of Pentacles clarified by Ace of Pentacles. So the feminine actually wants an like, answer in that previous question. The feminine wants to build something new in the physical, something good something solid something grounded but it has to be out of place of balance and the reciprocity so the feminine is basically saying you know what i've been building for the both of us i'm done doing that congratulations <laughs> it doesn't have to be with the masculine that's going to be a case for a lot of viewers but if you're not interacting with your masculine and have them on there on your mind this is like a new beginning, new project that you're starting, new hobby that you're starting, right? Like you, you're you ready to invest in it, but you are already setting those kind of KPIs, those criteria for success and for what you would expect if other people are involved from them, right? Like um, if it's something that you do on your own, still kind of like what kind of energy do you want to get out of it, right? how is it going to make you happy how is it going to bring joy or success right like it's got to be something and i know it sounds a little dry although pentacles are about that very tangible very specific outcome but uh if you think about it it's still like we can say that maybe oh that's too uh i don't know self-centered right or you're being too practical there are a lot of things that bring us happiness emotionally right but that's energy still right um and why it cannot be a tangible result that will bring you the good emotions right it can be both so why not in this particular case i'm sensing that energy is supposed to come in which is why to me it feels like other people are going to be involved and the reciprocity is gonna is expected from other people right like i'm not going to be doing divine feminine and i'm not going to be doing even 80% of the work and you're going to be doing 20. Like, that's just not going to cut it. We're doing, everyone is supposed to do their part and the best that they can, right? On different days, it can be a little different, but we should feel like we're working on this together. For masculines, five of wands clarified by two of cups. Ooh, 
a lot of self-sabotaging and kind of like inner conflict around the love that they feel um for the most of them for the feminines actually for a few of them there is a soulmate like a karmic energy but it is a soulmate because because they're supposed to teach each other something important right so there is a dilemma inside like something is stopping them from going for it right and it's for a lot of them it's responsibilities they just keep coming in the way like they want to go on, out on a date but it's like suddenly uh the ex is asking to pick up kids for an extra weekend or the mom calls and says like oh can you stop by i need your help or something else like for some it's um I'm getting fighting for that place in the sun. I don't know what that means. Take it how it resonates for you. But yeah, so whatever it is, they are getting distracted. But the more that happens, and that keeps happening again and again, the more they start questioning whether this is meant to be or not. Very interesting. And to answer that question, for Divine Masculine, it is meant to be. You are supposed to go there. Yes, we, of course, have free will. And we can say no to our twin, to our soulmate. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the lesson is just going to disappear. Yes, the universe will bring somebody else for you to learn that lesson. But it still has to be learned. That's the whole point of why you were brought together. <sighs> Additional question. Ten of Swords, clarified by Five of Cups. Ooh, pain and upset. What is painful right now for the twins? What are they being upset about? What's the grieving process all about? For the feminines... Nine of Pentacles, clarified by Four of Pentacles. Oof, Divine Feminine doesn't want to be single anymore, huh? Um, they are upset that maybe they've been, they feel like they've been closed off more than they should have. Uh, they feel like maybe they've missed some good opportunities. It's, not, it's like that time when you're uh, somewhere by yourself and you're, I don't know, maybe having a drink or whatever, just watching something, and you start remembering your love stories and maybe some opportunities that you feel like you've missed because you were more, like, too tied up or, like, you thought this is not my type or something. And now it seems ridiculous. It's like, wow, that's, like, so stupid. Why I didn't go for that? And, of course, the, <laughs> the other side of it or the way it's supposed to go that enjoy the singlehood and enjoy this freedom where you can figure out uh for the next love that's coming in you know what is it that you want to build and how those insignificant things are not going to be in the way anymore because you've learned for masculines we have six of swords clarified by queen of wands six of swords here is like this dear jabble that's um they're taking it out somewhere and there is a feminine figure so my guess, this is like the masculine and the feminine, and this is the queen of wands, once at the end. So the masculines find... Oof, how do I put this? The feminine energy is too much of a disruption to their day-to-day -day life, right? Like, they do regret that they've flown away from the energy. Um, but that was their understanding then. That it's just like uh it's causing too much distress or too much anxiety and fear right it's bringing up different triggers trigger points right it's triggering different fears right and the first reaction is fight or flight which is kind of funny because it's well this is a flight response 100 percent, right but even if it's fight it's still something instinctive something reactional that they've done how they've been around the divine feminine and now they regret it they're starting to see that a it wasn't divine feminine's fault like it's not like they made them like you know like when there is this somebody that keeps triggering things in you and your psyche like because it keeps bringing the anxiety level up then it starts being associated with something destructive and stressful because it kind of brings stress into your life that's true and if you don't understand what it means and that you're supposed to learn out of it you're supposed to bring in changes into your life then that person is like associated with that for you. Um, so that's how it's been. And now they're being more aware of this. They're understanding the feminine has nothing to do with it. It's It's been them all along. And moreover, that that chaos, that trigger, that pain that was brought up to the surface was supposed to be brought to the surface so that they can heal it, so they can do something about it. 
now of course they are upset that they didn't realize that and pushed the feminine away feelings from feminine to masculine seven of cups clarified by seven of wands Ooh, more sevens we already had seven of pentacles here so it's more planning and more of a kind of choosing the option that will represent your interest right like the feminine doesn't want to give in to what the masculine wants, you know, like the societal norm of like the masculine is the head of the family. They're supposed to decide how we're going to build our life. No, the feminine is now saying, uh, hell no, <laughs> you know, like, uh, yeah, I'm here for you. I love you very much. I want this life with you, but we'll have to agree together. What options are we choosing? Why we want this? And yes, I can always explain. I can always justify my side but it has to matter it has to be part of the conversation masculines oh wow ten of cups clarified by four of swords masculines want to go especially now that they realized how much uh distress was brought in with the divine feminine but it was all purposeful and guess what the eclipse energy is actually pushing them into solving those puzzles into um, contemplating, into meditating with this Four of Swords. And what do they see there? They see that the feminine is actually their emotional fulfillment. So that's how they're feeling, that's what they see. Um, don't expect a lot of action, and from these cards, I don't see that they're ready to act on it, to even communicate. But this is a big correlation that's coming to their awareness right now, that the feminine is the way that that person that they've been pushing away or they thought that that's a, a, a source of stress in their life, they're now seeing how much they enrich their life, right? And whenever they think of happiness or like, I wish I could be there and there or could be doing this and that, the feminine comes up and they want to be able to do that together. So important updates here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave it as is. Uh, thanks so much for being with me, guys. And I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Bye, everyone.